we're here in southern Florida to catch a glimpse of the most iconic reptile in the United States, the endemic American alligator. The alligator is a rare success story of a species that was saved from extinction and is now thriving thanks to habitat conservation, legal protection, and efforts to reduce the demand for alligator products. Biologists believe that several million alligators now inhabit the freshwater swamps, rivers, and lakes of the southeastern states, from Texas to North Carolina. It is easy to enjoy close encounters with real live alligators in Florida. We were lucky to be here in spring during the peak of their courtship season. Today we're at Everglades National Park in southern Florida. It's an incredible wilderness out here today seen all sorts of water birds. Uh, these wetlands harbor soras and anhingas, and up above we have swallowtail kites circling and black vultures. We've seen all sorts of herons and egrets. But the most exciting thing we've got here are American alligators. And they are abundant right behind me. I've seen at least Ten in my view right here. All sizes from juveniles to the largest adults. And the large male adults have been bellowing at each other because it's the beginning of the mating season and it's a fantastic eerie sound. But we're gonna keep on hiking down the trail. Early explorers and naturalists, including John James Audubon and William Bartram, wrote about the amazing courtship behavior of alligators, describing their roaring bellows that resounded through the swamps, not only shaking the air, but causing the earth to tremble, and claiming they could be heard for miles around. While this may stretch the truth, their behavior certainly is remarkable, and it's a spectacle not to be missed. During our early morning hike, the swamps came alive suddenly bellowing sounds of a dozen or so gators, conducting a chorus of bellows which echoed across the water in a most primeval way, making me feel like I was in a scene from Jurassic Park. The bellowing is highly ritualized and consists of four movements. The male takes a big gulp of air, raises its head out of the water, then arches its tail then the coolest part is that he produces an infrasonic sound wave that is so powerful as to make the water dance around his torso, followed immediately by an audible bellow. This behavior serves as a sexual attractant and advertises the size, sex, and social position of each individual and helps them set up territories during the early part of the season. If a male such as this one is lucky, he will attract a mate, and the female will wrap her body around the male's neck while he continues to bellow. How would not that be a sight to see? Let's watch this clip again with the sound turned up. Here we saw a small individual practicing its bellow, apparently stimulated to rehearse by the large males in the open swamp. This one is hidden safely in a quiet corner. Another fantastic spot to view gators up close and personal is at Corkscrew Swamp. 13,000 acre 
Audubon Society Preserve that protects the largest remaining stands of old growth bald cypress in North America. So we're going to go down this loop trail along the corkscrew shaped swamp. Okay. A loop trail takes you through oak hammocks, pine flatwoods, wet prairies, and cypress swamps, which is also home to the endangered wood stork, a species we are lucky to observe. Like all reptiles, these cold-blooded alligators spend a lot of time snoozing in the sun to warm up their large bodies, which can get to be 15 feet long. Some can grow to a thousand pounds and may live for 50 years. Here we saw a gator trail through the mud, then later watched one amble right under the elevated walkway we are standing on and seeming to be wearing a necklace of water lettuce. Alligators are the top predators in their wet, steamy habitat, feeding on fish, frogs, turtles, birds, and even mammals. The American alligator has lived on Earth for over 150 million years, sharing it with the dinosaurs, their closest relatives, until 65 million years ago when somehow they escaped the mass extinction event that wiped out their more famous cousins, along with many other forms of life on Earth. Here's hoping they live another million years. Thanks for joining us on our alligator tale.